Um, so this is actually a follow-up to our previous question where, you know, if you have a California entity, let's say it's a California LLC, you're trying to convert into a Delaware C Corp. Um, how long does that process take? Uh, what's the yeah. conversion like? Uh, like I said, if you have not complicated the cap table of the California LLC, if the California LLC cap table is straightforward, you know, there are a few, few members and they have, you know, same types of units or membership interests, it's fairly straightforward. It, it's not. It's not a big deal. You know, you set up a plan of conversion, have the members approve the plan of conversion, file two two certificates, and you're done. It, it's not expensive. It's it's you know, of course you will have filing fees in Delaware and you'll have filing fees in California and you'll have a little bit of legal cost, but it's it's not much. It's not prohibitively expensive. But if you have complicated the cap table of your LLC, and this is comes back to my earlier question that I, uh, uh, earlier point that I was trying to make, that if you are starting a tech startup, then you have to think about you know pros and cons. Should I even bother setting up an LLC or should I just become a corporation? Should I be in California or Delaware? And why, why not Delaware Corporation if I know I'm going to be out there trying to raise capital you know, sooner than later? So if you complicate your cap table and you have, you know, you have membership interests and you have profits interest units and, and, and whatnot, then yes. Then, then like I said, you know, because LLC is a pass-through structure, you have to think about how this conversion is going to affect the the members and they different members may have different tax implications depending on what type of units they have. Got it. So uh, more cooks in the kitchen, the difficult it is. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Got it. Uh, 